Hey guys, it's George. I just got off my shift and it was just like a really stressful shift. Like I haven't had a bad shift like this in a long time and I just felt like I needed to talk about it. And I don't have a mic because I wasn't prepared to blog. Like I didn't, I wasn't like, oh my God, let me just have a bad day so I could talk about it. But like I just had like a really stressful day today. I don't know why, but I'm like gonna I'm cry. cry. Oh my gosh, why are you gonna cry? This is, really Cause I'm this is like why I bedside nursing it's just like so stressful, you know. It's bad. I'm like really tired though. I had pretty much the same group today. I had six patients. They were pretty heavy. But my one patient who was fine yesterday, he was with therapy. And the therapist was like, she came in and she was like, hey, like, he doesn't look so good. Something's wrong. So we did vitals. Vitals were perfect. He's fine. An hour or two later, I was in the process of discharging my patient. And then the same therapist contacts me and she's like, look, like, something's bad. Even the daughter's like, something's wrong we you know do the whole thing vitals are fine again you know therapist was saying that you know he kind of was leaning to the left but he had a stroke already so that's what brought him in um he was just mumbling hallucinations we do a rapid response slash stroke alert over the loudspeaker so like everyone comes down to see what's going on on our unit um the doc one of the neurologists comes in with um, the stroke specialist and just like asking all these questions and I'm like overwhelmed asking all these questions and I'm like overwhelmed asking all these questions and I'm like overwhelmed. Please respect my privacy. Why can't you just let me do the things I wanna do? I'm like stressed out. Like I hate, I hate when like all eyes are on me already so like i already hate that but like when everyone's like asking questions at one time like what was his last blood sugar or what are the vitals like what's his history like it just like makes me nervous one of the icu nurses was like well his vitals are fine like he's alert oriented like why did you guys call a stroke alert and i'm like thank god the therapist was there and she was like the therapist was like well he was mumbling and he just didn't feel right um, he was hallucinating, he was having really bad headaches, he was leaning to his left off balance, and he was, like, having trouble breathing. All these, like, legit signs and symptoms of why we would be concerned, and this ICU nurse was just all like, well, he's fine now, like, why did you guys call a stroke alert? And this always happens on our unit, like, the ICU nurses are just always like, why did you do this? Why did you do that? And it's just like, not only insulting, but why are you talking down on us? You smug, sanctimonious bitch! Get out! Shut up! Just because we're not on ICU, it's almost like they're questioning our intelligence. We know what we saw. Even the patient and the daughter felt a certain type of way, you know, like, and it just like felt belittling. That's like a common reoccurring theme, honey. Like, wouldn't you rather be safe than sorry? So whatever. We do the paperwork. I have to take this patient to imaging because we have to do a CT. And it was just like stressful. Like they're like, okay, well he needs an IV. So I put an IV in. It, thank God I got on the first try. The people on my unit usually ask me to start an IV because I'm pretty good. But like when I'm under pressure and people are looking at me like hurry up get this line. I was like stressed out obviously. You know what I mean? And like thank God he had like huge veins but like I was just like nervous. Imaging was fine, like he didn't have a brain bleed, so his labs came back. Oh, and that's another thing. So we ordered stat labs, stat CMP, stat BMP, and then the lab like lost our labs. My nurse supervisor called like five hours after the fact and they're like, hey, we're still like waiting on like the CMP and BMP labs, the blood draws. And they're like, yeah, like we can't find them. And I'm like, okay, like, <laughs> When I first started doing makeup, my mom was like, oh, you're gonna get bored of this in 20 minutes. Yeah. We're not buying you these lights, we're not buying you this makeup, you're gonna get bored in 20 minutes. Oh, and then it's gonna okay, be, yeah. Uh, so here, after almost three years of doing it, and I think yeah. it's because- but They finally found that everything, and everything was fine. I just ended up having to give him a bag of fluids, normal saline, 0 0.9, 75 an hour, because that's what the nurse practitioner wanted. I guess he was like a little dehydrated, but like his electrolytes were fine, everything was fine. I mean, I don't really know what happened, but this patient is very dramatic and he's known to be, I hate to say it, but like a dirty old man. Like he told one of my coworkers that he wanted 
her to get in bed with him. And he was using the urinal while, while one of the other female nurses came in and he was like, oh, let me put this away because I might, because uh, I'm going to get excited. <laughs> Touching himself and like always naked and just like inappropriate. Literally, ew. I can't. I just hate the feeling of like, I did something wrong even though I didn't. And I hate that feeling like, you should have done this better. Even though I did everything right, it's that insecurity of being like a nurse. I don't know if I'm just the only person who feels this way, but like other nurses, please let me know. Like, I've been a nurse for 10 years, but like, I still don't feel like I know everything. And like, when I talk to other nurses, they're like, yeah, you're not gonna ever feel like you're gonna know everything. And even though we do like rapid response drills, even though we do code blue drills, it's so different, like, a drill versus, like, an actual code blue. So, like, I want to do the best I can. I always want to, like, you know, just do everything right. It was just, like, such a bad day for me. I have realized that, like, bedside nursing, like, this is just, like, a temporary thing. Like, I don't want to do this forever. My other patient was so rude to me, saying that I didn't give him any pain meds, but like, I was trying to explain to him that like, your Percocet is every six hours, you know what I mean? Like, it's not every four hours. Like, I had to get the doctor in there, and like, he finally changed the order to make a Percocet Q4, so the patient was happy. And like, he was like, I hate this bed, there's a hole in it, so I got him a new bed, so he's happy now. <laughs> This is why we have a nursing shortage and it's just a stressful job. It's just like, you're not always gonna have a great day, you know? And today was my day. I have been having like really good days at work, but this one just really knocked the wind out of my sail. It was very stressful, but you know what? We clocked out, it's over. The best feeling is when you swipe that badge on the time clock and goes green. <laughs> you're out of there, honey. And I walk through those doors, bitch, like I'm Bella Hadid. You know, and that's it. So, catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.